Boom. How y'all doing today? All right. So here's the thing. I want to tell you something about the law of attraction of some of the secrets that rich people and powerful people know that I really just started experiencing over the last few years because, you know, the secret information came to me more recently. And after realizing it, now I see my past in a different way. Now I see my future completely in a different way. Right. So one of the things that we've already talked about is the law of rhythm and the law of polarity. See, in understanding the law of attraction, you got to understand how to put these laws together, how they work with each other or how one can overcome the other. All right. And which laws are greater than the other ones so that you can then maximize your ability to attract and create things in your life. So I'm going to go real quick, real quick. All right. Law of rhythm, law of polarity. How do they work in concert with each other so that the law of attraction works for you? This is how it works. Plain and simple. The law of rhythm is basically that everything you do, everything in your life has a rhythm to it, a like a pendulum swing. It swings to the left and swings to the right, left and right, left and right, like a hypnotist, right? So when things are swinging to the right, that's when you're on your highs. And then the equal amount of swing to the right is going to be equal to the swing on the left. If you notice in your life, the, the highest level of joy in relationships you have is the lowest level of pain that you've experienced in relationships as well. Just as much as the highest amount of money you've made also is an equal swing to the lowest amount of money you've made, right? And so you got this pendulum that's swinging. And trust me, I've experienced it and I understand that now. Now, how do we rise above the right side swing? Well, it's two things that you got to understand in order to do that. One, once we, if you understood the law of vibration, which we'll get to at a different time, we're not right now, then that will tell you why sometimes your pendulum swings a little bit farther to the left or a little bit higher to the right or a whole lot to the left or a whole lot to the right, which changes your swing, your rhythm, period. But what we want to focus on now and today so that you have a better understanding is how do you polarize yourself to one side or the other? And understand, you can polarize yourself either to the left or the right you can polarize yourself in poverty or you can polarize yourself in wealth you can polarize yourself in bad negative alone relationships or you can polarize yourself into an awesome great relationship and let me tell you and we're gonna stick it right there we're gonna pin it in right there so the relationship when a relationship begins, usually you're swinging to the right because you're dating each other you're in love with each other you're rising in love Right. You're you're doing everything that's necessary. You find out what makes that woman happy and you do it. You find out what makes that man happy and you go and you do it. Right. It's consistent. It's always it's constant. Now, we like to say that's just the infatuation part. That's the honeymoon part. Right. And you get into the marriage and then the marriage is the real part. Well, here's the reality of it. Here's what happy people know. Successful marriages truly really know. And let me tell you, longevity does not make success. And complacency does not make success, right? A relationship that is constantly growing in love, that is a successful relationship. Because if it's not constantly growing in love, then it's not. And that's the secret. That's how we polarize that relationship to the right and keep it to the right. What you were doing when you first started dating that woman is what you got to keep doing and doing even more to in order to maintain the greatness of that relationship. And the same thing goes for the woman. If you were dressing sexy for him when you first started dating him, then keep, you have to keep dressing sexy. It is not this idea that once you get to the marriage, once you get into five years, 10 years, 20 years, that now it's just about love and he just accepts whatever it is. No, no, it's not it. You see, in order to polarize something to the right, then you have to keep it growing. Keep investing, keep manifesting new levels of heights, new higher levels. Now, that should give you a clue that the level that the law of vibration that says that you have to keep raising the vibration means that you continue to polarize to the right so that you will not swing to the left. The reason why your relationship swings to the left is because you stop dating. You stop doing those things that keep you to the right. You start doing things that actually move you to the left. You stop dating. You stop dressing up. You stop caring about how you look. You start having arguments and leaving them undone. You start feeling anger and resentment. You start letting all kind of odd behavior and other people interfere and interject with your relationship. And now that swings you to the left. Right. And in some marriage, people swing to the left and to the right and they just stay there or well, people get neutral and they just stay there. Right. And that becomes complacency. That becomes comfort because they know the level of pain that they're going to experience as well as the level of joy. And it's not too painful, but it's not too happy. But if you want to have a great relationship, then swing to the right. 
and keep swinging to the right. You polarize that thing. And the way you polarize it to the right is you keep it growing. You keep manifesting it in things, activities, and words that keep the love growing so that you keep rising in love with each other. You know, when you were first dating, you get into an argument, then the quickly, quickly, I would tell my woman, you know, let's get back to the happy. But now, if you've allowed that polarization to start swinging to the left, you get into an argument. Now you're walking around with resentment and anger and frustration. You're not talking to each other. And then you just go to bed. And then the next day, you just kind of start moving forward and getting along. Right? You didn't go back and, and make happy and, and get back with her and, and make smiles and give hugs and, and make love and that sort of thing. You didn't start doing that so that the love starts to rise quickly. But instead, you let this negative energy, this vibration come in and swing you a little to the left. And then one day when you're far to the left, you start saying, where did the love go? How can we get back to the love? But you can't get back to it. Well, let me not say you can't. You can it's just going to take that equal amount of energy and force that brought you to the left. you got to now put that to go to the right. All right? That's how you save a relationship, by getting back to, to the higher levels of vibration in your relationship and rising in love with each other once again. That's how we get to the right. Now, take that same idea and apply that to your money. Apply that to your health. Apply that to your finances. Apply that to your rate, how you raise your kids. Apply that to how you're doing at your job. Apply that how you do work your company. If you continue to do those things that increases you, that makes you happy, that gives you more value, that raises the vibration of whatever it is in your life, then you are polarizing to the right. And you are rising in whatever it is. You rise like a phoenix over the dead body of the shell that you used to be. That's what I'm talking about. That's how you create and, I make, and you make the law of attraction work for you. I'm Lorenzo Reed. My greatness is non-negotiable and so is yours.